I guess the, the comeback here, Martin, is, is what we want to kick it off with. Uh, what's it really down to? Is this a rebound in um, automotive sales as you kind of predicted last quarter? Well, I mean, we have seen a significant slowdown of the automotive industry in the fourth quarter, which put the automotive industry for the whole year 2018 not in a very good shape. The predictions for 2019 is, however, a slight uh, increase in activity and a, a slightly higher number of produced cars. I have, however, to say that the, the year started slow in January, so we expect as part of our forecast for 2019 that we see a certain revitalization also of the automotive industry. However, the, the whole economic environment is a little bit lower in 2019, but it still grows. We are far away from a recession. And do you expect that to continue um, throughout the rest of the year? I mean, Donald Trump seems to be positive about a trade deal with China, optimistic about a possible trade deal with China. I know that was a concern for your business last year. Um, does it remain a concern this year? And are you worried about when Trump turns to uh, trade issues with the European Union? Well, overall, I mean, we expect uh, uh, the world economic growth to go down from 3.2% to 2.8%. And the main reason for that is the trade frictions we have. And they are partly initiated from the U.S. Uh, that is burdening the overall economic climate uh, globally. But we have the issues between the U.S. and EU, but even more important, I think, between the EU and China. And it is very elemental for uh, the 2019 developments whether the two superpowers will settle the issues. However, I think uh, the issues are far beyond just straight because we talk about the positioning of the U.S. and China as the two major economic powers in the world in the world of tomorrow. And uh, this is not so easy to resolve. I know a little bit about China because I lived 10 years in Hong Kong. But I expect that the current um, impact, which we all see on the slowing down world economy, that this is also um, an, something that helps the, the leaders to find a solution. And I think the signals currently that we might over the next months at least see some ease on major uh, trade conflicts, I think is, is evident. And we have planned that in for our 2019 assumptions. Martin, can I, good morning. Can I ask you about the structure of the business, the portfolio of companies and businesses that you operate there? Uh, it seems that you may be pushing against the tide in, uh, in, in sticking with the idea of a diversified chemicals giant that does everything from uh, raw materials to high-end chemicals. Do you think that the, the composition of your business still makes perfect sense, despite others making a different uh, assessment? Well, I think a corporate strategy, you have to decide on the traits and the situation of each company. I think it is not the right thing just to, tra to follow a trend. If you look on BSF, which is very, very strongly um, um, designed by its Verbund, which is an, a German word for integration, we run large um, sites with uh, deep integration of value chains and interlinked value chains. And this is giving us an operational strength. And this is also the lowest environmental footprint which you can uh, assume for the future. I think also from an environmental perspective, uh, things will not get easy more in the, in the future. But that is also associated with running a broader portfolio than some of the specialized companies. So we still think our strengths are in this. And this is also why our new corporate strategy is very much uh, strengthening also our Verbund. But that also means that our portfolio development, which was a very active one over the last 10 years, because we have divested roughly 20 billion of sales and have acquired about 7 to 8 billion, which is a significant turnover of our portfolio, will strongly also depend on the Verbund. So we will divest some of the businesses that are not so much linked in the Verbund and then strengthen also the Verbund as such with organic growth. And this is why oil and gas business is currently transitioning into a joint okay. venture with DEA. And this is also why construction chemicals are on, on the divestment. Just very briefly, Martin, the low levels of water on the River Rhine, how are you handling that to date? Well, this was burdening us as BSF quite significantly over the summer months. Uh, this unusual long period of low water in the Rhine, we had to reduce our plant utilization quite significantly, and it impacted our 
um, earnings by about 250 million euros. There's quite some measures we take now. This is about stock building. This is about uh, cooling facilities. This is also about new modes of ship transportation on the Rhine. Um, but certainly we still depend on, on the, the border of the Rhine, but we can extend the period to survive right. in more difficult times. And this is what our self-help measures target All on. Right.